Hello everyone, my name is Robin. We're here on Mont Soleil in La de Centrale and our workshop at the moment is about the mycelium of global governance. What it is basically, we've been invited to a, a glo global challenge to find ways and means to solve problems of uh, climate change, poverty and other conflicts around the world. Um, and we've come up with uh, the mycelium model. Okay, the mycelium is a organism which is the largest organism and possibly the oldest organism in the, on the planet. And we've used this as a metaphor to explain how um, uh, our model for local governance or global governance will work. So initially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through some of the terminologies. First of all, the mycelium okay, is, is a plural or singular of the biometric mind of humanity. The mycelium is the organism of the entire entirety of humankind. The hyphae or is the little uh, uh, self-empowered individuals who actually take their destiny in their own hands and they feel that they have the power, the 99%. The shira is a Japanese word which is, um, means white or castle, but in this way we've actually made it as an assemblage or wisdom council or a gathering basically where the hyphae or individuals are called to gather to specifically resolve a certain type of problem or challenge. What the hyphae do, how the biomass works is, if you look at this, they, they come out and they, they, they decompose the biomass of the old. This could be the capitalist system, it could be the old problems. They take the nutrients, they release the enzymes, and they turn the biomass into compost. And that compost is then used to, as fer, uh, fertile ground to create the shira and then the mushroom. The mushroom is the collective realization of the uh, assemblage or gathering of hyphae. And from the mushroom, which is the collective common realization, it shoots out spores, which is the actualization of the new. And then the circle starts again. How the, how the mycelium works, basically, and I'm giving you this very, very short and very to the point, is that how it works is it works on a local level, a regional level, and a global level. It works through uh, real, real time, and virtual time. In other words, people who, who feel that they have an affinity towards a certain uh, challenge or problem, and they come together and they discuss how that problem is, can be solved. And then they are fed by the mycelium, the, the mind, the biometric mind of, of humanity, both on a local le level and an international level, on how to solve a problem. And this basically is our model for global, global or local governance. And what I'd like to do right now, I'd like to introduce you to uh, some other people here who are also part of this workshop and who are going to explain more about this. And I'm going to now pass you on to Chris Zumbrum. So what we, uh, what we have is a kind of a definition of the uh, local uh, governance model mycelium model so far is that we say the mycelium model of global governance is a governance structure that is parallel to the existing governance structures in the world. It does not aim to replace them. It is complementary to them. It has however the inherent power to transform them or to bring about a new structure that makes them obsolete. Local in nature it is decentralized, powered through the interdependent participation of local and translocal random groups of people. The mycelium governance structure does not make decisions. Its function is to facilitate awareness of current consensus in society. And basically this, uh, this uh, awareness of consensus in society will be a force in society that, uh, that will make existing governance structures take uh, that truth that appears as a consensus in society into account. It will force a flow in, in that direction. We were talking about the mycelium of global governance or global governance. We say global governance because global and local means global. So therefore we call it global governance. But the mycelium is a, a lot more deeper than that. 
if you have a problem, for example, in a specific village in Africa, and you don't know how to solve it, but you come together in a, in a gathering, or shira as we call it, uh, you then ha are linked in the virtual reality to the mycelium, which can then uh, give you information and, and tools on how, how to solve your local problem. So, how does it work? How does it work, this mycelium model? Okay, in, what's the nuts and bolts of it? Okay, so in, on the local level, if you take just the village on the local level, you create affinity groups, which are self-generated. People have a problem. We don't have clean water, for example. We have to figure out how to make clean water. So the city will then feed into that virtually, in a virtual reality, and say, well, okay, maybe guys, we could, you know, help you to create a new filtration system. So what it is, the mycelium itself is, is a biometric mind. So this, in, this intelligent system, basically, it gives people um, a solution. And it doesn't compete with the national structures or international structures. What it is, basically, is, is basically creating awareness. Now we take the local level, and we have these affinity groups that, you know, people come together and they and they get input from international sort of people interested in that particular subject because as we have seen today, everything is linked. Donald Trump has said build the wall and that America first and America is everything and screw the rest of the world. But as, as we have seen, the earth has said, I'm sorry but you're wrong here and it's hit by four hurricanes. So no wall can stop a hell of a long uh, wind coming in. Now, the problem is, we have to come to this collective realization that to save this planet, to repair the, pl the planet, we need to come together. And that is what the Mycenaean model does. It brings people together on an international global level and on a local level. So, we have the local nodes or local shiros or gatherings, which, which solve local problems in a local level. But they are also supported by the Mycenaean at an international level and at a parallel level to, to the United Nations and to national things, national governments. Now, the, the beauty of this system, the beauty of this model, is that we take the real, the local, or the real in the regional, the real in the global, and we feed it into the mycelium. The mycelium is like the biometric mind or intelligence of the whole, and it's interconnected. So we actually are taking uh, the, the collective intelligence of all of humanity as, as one single mind and we're, we're feeding it into the local challenge. Now the local challenge we then can take as um, a, a way that people can themselves facilitate the, the uh, decision-making process which then can be used in a, in a governmental way, an existing structure, or eventually it will replace the, the, the structures completely, they will just become compost. So, we have many different challenges in the world today. We have the environmental, climate change, and which is a big problem. And yet, we cannot think that one country or one nation can do it alone. Russia is not alone, America is not alone, Britain is not alone. You know, the age of protectionism and the age of nationalism is essentially over. If we don't actually work together as one human race, one species, we're finished. There's, no, there's nothing we can give to our children. So the mycelium is the hope for the future, the hope for our children, the hope to save this planet with the collective intelligence of all the greatest minds, from the lowest to the highest, from the oldest to the youngest. Everybody participates in the mycelium and that the answers that come out of this process is what we use to then facilitate the solution that we need to solve the planet's problems. Thank you.